Collier, and I am the lead pastor of Story Church Atlanta, as well as the founder of A Greater Story Ministries. And our verse for today is James 5.13. It says this, is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. Is anyone happy? Let them sing songs of praise. Woo, I'm getting excited. And one of the reasons I'm so excited about this verse is because um, in this verse, we see that there is an antidote for different things as we respond in the spirit. And, and can I just break it down? If you're in trouble, he says, let him pray. If you're unhappy, sing songs of praise. And, and here's some of the secrets that we understand uh, from this verse about the kingdom, that when we pray, things can change. I know, I know, come on. It's early in the morning when you're reading this, you're watching this, whatever. I want to say it again. When we pray, things can change. I know some people out there, you've got a certain theological framework that says that God is not a genie. And I would 100% agree with that. But I would also say that we should be careful not to miss out on what God does actually want to do for us. But we have a responsibility to unlock that place so that God can move. And that key is prayer. Did you know that if you prayed today and if it was within the Lord's will for him to move something, he would move it? Here's the next one. I love this. Um, if you're unhappy, let them sing songs of praise. In this part of the verse, we find that um, on the other side of praise, happiness can be unlocked. I'm going to pause right there so you can feel that. On the other side of praise, happiness can be unlocked. Locked. Did you know that if you turn your attention to God in the midst of your trouble, something happens in us that allows for a different emotion to rise. It's impossible to worship God and to stay down. I want to encourage you today to pray. I want to encourage you today to praise.